They're pushing the gay ABCs. No, nope, but I'm glad you said that, though, because I did hear about something else. <clears throat> that has to do with children. Children. Um, and not ABCs, but sexualities, okay? LGBTs. Now, apparently, a New York lawmaker wants to create sex ed for kids. A New York lawmaker wants to make sex ed for kindergartners. Not just children, kindergartners. Okay? LOL, gay BCs, oh Lord, oh my God. Now she wants, this is a black woman, non-foundational black American, thank you God. This is not a black American, this is not a black American, foundational black American. But, she is a black woman. Okay, and she is a lawmaker, and she is on code with these white supremacists. Now listen to this. Get ready for the latest woke wave in education. Comprehensive, comprehensive sex ed for kids as young as five. As young as five years old. That's a year older than my nephew right there. A year, that's a year older than my nephew. My nephew don't know a goddamn thing about sex. But we talk about a year from now, my nephew will be learning about this shit right here. If it's up to this woman, okay? Thanks to a new bill in the state senate. Legislation sponsored by state senate uh, Samara G. Brock. Brick. She's not foundational again. I don't know how to pronounce that. A freshman Democrat for, uh, for Rochester would tie New York's health curriculum to standards written by a left wing. Now, here go the motherfuckers y'all voted in. A left wing interest group that advocates sex ed for social change and will make those lessons mandatory statewide, okay? So she's trying to mandate this throughout the whole damn state. All right, under the group's, under the group's uh, current standards, public and charter schools would have to, would have to teach five-year-olds about... Now listen to this. Public and charter schools will have to teach five-year-olds about gender identity and instruct eight-year-olds on hormone on hormone blockers to prevent puberty and transgender identifying preteens. Yes. Oh hell nah, my cat, my child will be homeschooled, fucking around with this system. So they're teaching five year olds. Again, that is a year older than my nephew right now. Five year olds about gender identity. They going to school, going telling telling little kids, hey, hey little Bobby. I know for the past five years, your little, your, your mom and dad and your family has been referring to you for referring to you as he and boy and man and in masculine terms. But now I'm here to tell you that, hey, that you can forget all that and you can be called a girl and a she and a woman and a lady. You can be all of that or you could be both. You could be both. You could be neither or you could be neither if you want to. You can have no gender. You could just be you. You can have no label to a five-year-old and then to an eight-year-old they're pushing uh, i'm sorry to an eight-year-old they have to instruct on hormone blockers to prevent puberty and transgender identifying preteens so you're directing eight-year-olds eight-year-olds after you already told you already to confuse their ass at five about their gender now you push them up at eight and you're confused. I mean, now you got them thinking, okay, so now, I don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. Okay, okay. All right, I'm a, I was born a boy. Okay. All right, so I was born a boy. But I, I'm a little girly, though. I think I'm a girl. So I'm going to go ahead and identify as a girl. Okay, so I'm a girl. But now, okay, but I'm still a boy because I got boy parts. Oh, okay. So what y'all telling me now that I'm eight, that I could get these human hormone blockers and I don't ever have to be a boy again? I don't even have to grow up to see what it's like to be a man. I don't even have to be, I don't have to go through any male experiences. I can just skip over that and be what I say I think I am, which is a girl. At eight years old, I can make this decision. At eight years old, they're instructing them to teach them, on, uh, teach them about hormone blockers, which is terrible for your children. Please go back and watch uh, Transgender, uh, uh, trans kids miss wealth please go watch that goddamn video that shit is terrible do not put your kids in no motherfucking hormone blockers 
Even if you are, listen to me, even if you are one of the parents who are open-minded, oh, my child can be this, can be that, it doesn't matter, we don't do labels, fine, to each their own, but do not, from an objective fucking medical standpoint, do not put their ass on goddamn hormone blockers, don't do it, you are stopping a natural process that they are supposed to go through, you are stopping a natural process process allow them to go through that process 80 to 90 80 to 90 percent of the times any of the all of that gender confusion they had before puberty is going to stop after puberty they'll be well established in their gender, gender identity after puberty wait until after puberty let them grow the fuck up as men or women that they were supposed to be and then allow them to choose from there but while they're in your household under 18, don't put their asses on no damn puberty blockers. Don't do it. I don't give a damn what your belief is. It don't got nothing to do with beliefs. We're just talking about the well-being of your fucking child. Don't do it. Okay? Now, it goes on to say, kids as young as 11, listen to this. Kids as young as 11 will get lectures on vaginal, oral, and anal sex. Study queer, two-spirit, asexual, pansexual, and other gender identities. And receive explicit, explicit instruction on the use of external and internal condoms, dental dams, and other contraceptives. Now we're talking about 11-year-olds, Okay. That's about three years older. That's three years older than my, my niece, my oldest niece. Okay. When I was 11, vaginal, oral, anal sex, pansexual, two-spirit, asexual, and, and queer. Okay. None of this shit was being floating around at, at 11 years old. We wasn't talking about none of this shit at 11 years old. And this is not to say that some of the kids weren't sexually active. Because you had, you got your fast ass kids. You got your, some of your kids that had been, that went through what they went through at home, and then they didn't took that shit out to the, they didn't took that shit on to the playground. You know what I'm saying? And, and took that shit to other kids. So we already know some kids was a little faster than others. You know what I'm saying? But even then, nobody was going. Even the word sex, like nobody was going around. This was still a taboo thing at 11. This even for boys. And I know boys who have lost their virginity young. I know boys that have lost their virginity as young as 8, 12, 13. I know a lot. Should I say that have young lost their virginity as young. Okay? And I know a lot of young young black women who, who started having sex pretty young. Not, that, not as young as young black men. But definitely still young. But my point is, there's not a... there's It's not promoted. Okay? Because even in then, even in when I was around 5th, 6th grade... The girls that was having sex was, we all knew who they were. You knew who was having sex. You knew the ones that didn't, that didn't did something, even if they wasn't having sex, they didn't did something with one of the boys. They all, they, they was out. We already knew who the fast ones was. Though Those were already out. They were, they were already outed because not enough of us were doing it. Everybody, for the most part, the majority of the girls weren't doing it. Most of us were scared to talk to boys. Most of the boys were still scared to talk to girls. And if you were, you were, it was a fake ass relationship. It was a hug. Oh my gosh, she's my boyfriend. He wrote a letter. We're together for like two weeks and then y'all break up over some stupid shit. But it was never, you know, it's not promoted. It's not something that's in the middle and in, inside that younger generation's culture. It's not, it, that's not in it because they're not sexualized like that. As they should not be. Because they're kids. Now, as we fast forward now, you do see that, uh, you do see that promoted. Of course, of course, more because they try to over-sexualize our goddamn kids and push that LGBT shit onto our kids as, as, we, as we're reading right now. But the bigger, the, the more important thing, should I say, to say is, why the hell does it seem like they're trying to make us, they're trying to trick parents into thinking that doing all of this, speaking, I'm sorry, teaching your kids this early, this early on about LGBTQ and sex and all these other, all these other, um, more mature, uh, these more mature conversations, they want you to have, they're pushing this narrative to make parents think that having this more mature conversation with your kids is more progressive 
because the kids we have now are more over sexualized rather than trying to figure out what the fuck is the root of the issue what is what is causing the kids to even be over sexualized instead of trying to fix the damn disease trying to cure the disease you're trying to feed the parents treatments you're trying to feed you try to, try to instead of giving the parents the cure you want to feed the parents the treatments you want to keep giving the, the band-aids to the, to the to the parents you want to keep feeding the parents distractions to not really understand the, the the root of the problem because teaching your kids earlier on on isn't the fucking problem the problem is kids shouldn't be is learning about this shit too fucking early the problem is kids is watching over sexualized uh, things in media and in their cartoons and things of that nature that in there that has been programmed in their subconscious that is showing out that is becoming a uh, prevalent in the behaviors as children it's just showing through the behaviors but they're being programmed through another source they're not just coming out the womb becoming eight nine years old and just saying oh i want to have sex now something is building up to that and i'm not going to even put it all on of course just on white supremacy or the one percent or the the powers that be that is pushing this these this propaganda on us because a lot of that also has to do with the family even if you look at, I mean, shit, I got to call black Americans out on our bullshit because I've, I've done it before over sexualizing kids. I've seen videos with black women twerking in the damn, in the cap, in the camera with, I've just seen one, matter of fact, of a girl I see, I know personally doing the shit. She twerking in the camera, her fucking son smiling, smiling, laughing, cheering her on. That's a part of over sexualizing right there. That is a part of over sexualizing. Got little black girls twerking to fucking twerk music. Got little black girls doing a goddamn silhouette challenge. A goddamn busted, busted challenge. You got little black girls running around singing WAP. Listen to Meg Thee Stallion talking about WAP and Cardi B. Don't even know what the hell they talking about. But they know the whole fucking dance to WAP. All of that is contributing to over-sexualizing children. But instead of addressing that, they say, oh no, we're just, you know what we need to do? We need to include it inside the curriculum. Let's give them more propaganda. Instead of taking a step back and looking at what the fuck is already programming them, why are we getting this result? Why do we have over-sexualized kids? Why are they acting like this? Why does it seem like kids are being more sexual early at an earlier age now? What is the problem? What was the earlier generations doing differently than the new generations? Maybe if we take a look at that, that that could be the the uh the answer to the problem. But no, we're not gonna do that. The, the answer is let's just add some more propaganda into the curriculum. Let's let's program them some more. That's what the the the, the, the answer is. It's pro let's do let's do some more programming. That's the answer. High um incidents of relationship violence, sexual harassment, and assault and online bullying in our uh, in our society today. We must equip the next generation with, with the skills and education they will need to thrive. So you think the, the, the skills that they need to thrive is has to do with them knowing about their sexuality?